What I want to talk about today first is the, the rocket. The, if you all saw my demo, demo that I did last night, um, I've come up with a new system for a very powerful rocket. And a gentleman from Maine has just uh, developed a static test uh, device for testing thrust on these rockets. And uh, we, he came a little early to the convention and we spent one uh, morning, uh, one afternoon uh, working with some of these rockets and uh, he, he gave me a, a, a computer printout of the, the thrust curve that the three quarter inch ID rocket produced with uh, three increments of the whistle mix that I use, that I put in these rockets and you can put up to seven increments. Now, his test cell was only rated for uh, 50 pounds. And I thought, well, what we'll do is we'll start low and we'll just keep increasing the whistle mix that I use in these things until we get to the 50 pound maximum uh, uh, thrust uh, that, this, that this thing will take, that the test cell would take. And the very first rocket I made peaked out at 49.8 pounds. So that's as high as I could go. And then we did some other testing on some of the end burners and uh, uh, a straight black powder rocket. But this just goes to show you what the three, the, uh, the three quarter inch ID rocket that I build. Last night I fired up a four inch ball shell with it and uh, it, got up, uh, it got up plenty high enough. And that had, uh, I think, like six increments of, of the whistle mix. And this one only had three. So what the thrust level these rockets put out, I have no idea, um, except this is the only reference I have. This is the three-quarter inch ID um, with three increments of whistle mix. And